Hopefully you're able to print the exponent loss part two worksheet, the A2 worksheet. If not, you can follow along and copy and put it on line paper. Okay, so uh, we're going to start off with the joke of the day here. So here's zero. He's talking to eight. Zero says nice belt. So imagine the zero gets a nice belt, turns into an eight. Okay, let's move on here. So before we do anything, I just want to go over the rules that you should have learned in the last lesson. So rule one, if these terms are side by side, so we have x to the 2, x to the 5, and they're side by side, you're multiplying, then you add the exponent. So 2 plus 5 is 7. So you take the 2 plus the 5 and you get 7. Okay, rule number two here. Okay, if you divide, so if you take the one and divide the other one, so if you have x to the 5 divided by x to the 2, you subtract. So you take the 5 and you subtract the 2. So you go x is 5 minus 2, so it's x to the 3. Okay, rule number 3 here, so you got x to the 5 and then it's to the power of 2. It's called a power of a power. So if you have that, then you multiply, then you do 5 times 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. Okay, now we're going to apply these rules into something a little more complicated. So we're going to go to the worksheet now, and we're going to do these questions. So over here, we're going to do these questions right now. So the first, it's a combination. So first, in the middle, if you take a look at these two in the middle here, okay, these two here, we're, they're multiplied. So we're going to add. So we're going to go 3 plus 6. So we're going to follow the same rules. K3 plus 6 is K to the 9. Okay, and that's to the power of 3. Now we have a power of a power, so we're going to multiply. 9 times 3, so you get K to the 27. So we're just following the same rules and we're doing them in multiple orders. Again, side by side we add power of a power, so when you got 9 times 3 is 27. So now here on the top, so here on the top, it's a, it's a multiply, so we're going to add. So it's 7 plus 4, and you can use your calculator. 7 plus 4 is 11. Okay, now we're going to look on the one on the bottom down here. Okay, so on the bottom, it's another add. A, 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, so we've done those. Okay, we'll put a bracket about, about these, and now we got the 3 on the top still. Okay, the next one, so we're going to extend this down a little bit so we can see. Now we're going to subtract. So we're going to take the 11 minus the 7. So here we're going to have 11 minus 7, 4. And it's still to the power of 3. And now we do the final one, which is a 4 times 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So a to the 12. So this one pretty much used all the rules I talked about in the last one. So we used every single rule. We got to A12. So again, let's go over that one more time because it uses every rule's good practice. First, the, the uh, first these these two got multiplied and those two got multiplied. Then we got 11, okay, because we added the exponents. Then we did a subtract here. So we did a subtract and we got to the next one. Okay, and then we did a multiply to get to the last one. So I can't write multiply. I get to a multiply 4 times 3 to get to the 12. Okay, let's do an even harder one. Oh, actually, this particular one is uh, is the same. It's exactly the same question, so we're going to change it. So I'm just going to do a different one here. I'll do a to the 3, a to the 5 over a, and we'll put a to the 6 maybe here put a bracket around it, and put it to the power of 5. We'll do a different one. So if you have a, a different one there or the same one again because I made a mistake, just cross it off and do this one. Okay? So a to the 3. So a 3 plus 5 is a to the 8. Okay? Now at the bottom here, there's nothing. There's no exponent here. If there's no exponent, it's a 1. You do 6 plus 1 is 7. So you get a to the 7. Then put a bracket around it. And then you put a 5 there. Now you're going to do a subtract. So you're going to do 8 minus 7. Okay, so now you're going to do 8 minus 7 here. So 8 minus 7 is a to the 1. So we'll put a bracket around it, put a 5. Then we're going to do the multiply. So we get a 
to the 5 as the final answer. I'll circle it just to make it clear. Okay, we've got a to the 5 as the final answer. Okay, let's move on now to the next. Over here, I don't want you to copy this page, this particular page. I'm just going to do some work here. Now, I know a few things. I know 2 times, and I'm going to show you a pattern here. So 2 to the power of 1 is 2. Okay, 2 squared is 4. I know that. Well, that's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So if you look, these are just divisible by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. Now, 2 divided by 2 is the next answer, 1. Pretty neat. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1. And then 1 divided by 2 is going to be the next answer, 2 to the negative 1. It's 1 over 2. So look, on the negative exponent, the 2 goes to the bottom. Let's see if the same thing happens over here. So 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 3 is 9. So we're just dividing by 3. This is 3. 3 to the power of 3. Now 3 divided by 3 is 1. And this last one's 1 over 3. 1 divided by 3. So interesting. 2 to the negative 1 turns out to be 1 half. So you put the 2 to the bottom. So the negative makes it go to the bottom. 3 to the negative 1. That's 1 over 3. So the negative makes it go to the bottom. So we're going to do a little rule here, and this is on your page. Any number to a negative exponent is flipped, and an exponent is made pos positive. So it's going to be flipped. Either a fraction is going to be turned around, or the number is going to be put on the bottom. So now let's do these here. you got 3 to the negative 2. Okay, this one here becomes 1 over 3 squared. So basically it gets flipped. The 2 gets put on the bottom and it gets positive. Okay, this one here, 5 to the negative 3. Well, this becomes 1 over 5 to the 3. So to become positive, it goes to the bottom. Let's move on to the next style of question. Okay, you got 1 third to the negative 3. So basically the fraction flips. You put 3 over 1 to the negative 3. 3 divided by 1 is just 3, oh, to the positive 3, switches, okay, to the positive 3. So it switches signs when it flips. Now it's just 3 divided by 1 is 3, so just 3 cubed. This one, again, flips the sign. First, I'll put the equal signs there, flips the sign. So you get 4 over 3, so it flips the, sorry, sorry, flips the fraction, so you get 4 over 3 instead of 3 over 4, and then you put a 2 there. And if you want, you can put the 2 to each of those. So if you wanted to, you can put 4 squared over 3 squared. I'm going to pause the video at this time or stop it. And then later you can open the next video.